All right, we have a dishwasher here that is not draining. I took the filter off, cleaned the filter, but even after the filter off, it's still not draining here. So the next easy step to look at is actually the drain line. And if we look inside, that right there is the drain line. And it goes all around. And then it eventually connects to this garbage disposal right here. Now one test that we can do is we can take it off the garbage disposal and blow into it. And if the dishwasher pool bubbles, we know that there is a way for the air to get into the dishwasher. But if it's blocked, it won't do that. No, so there's some clog in between here and the dishwasher. Before doing work on your dishwasher, be sure to cut the power. All right, I have this huge drain snake that I snaked all the way through. And here, you can see how long. So I was able to get it all the way there. So the line right here is almost certainly fine, not clogged. Which means my clog is probably somewhere over here. So what I'm thinking is that something underneath here could be clogged. So I'm going to take off this guy first to give us easy access. Now for this screen, there's two screw things holding this on and they're just twist by hand. Twist this up. Twist this up. Put our screws away. I'm going to lift this screen up. Okay, let me see if we can see if we got anything we can see in here causing a clog. I gotta think there's something down there. Didn't see anything, but I'm gonna start bailing the water out manually to see if I can get a better look. So getting towards the end of where this cup can help. So my tip here if you're like me, you don't have a turkey base, or just use a plastic bag. You can throw this down. Suck up a lot with this. All right, for this final part, I'm just gonna use rags to soak up this last bit of water. Well, I can see the, the nut that I can use to take out those parts. Maybe there's a clog underneath there, so let's try that. So now all I'm doing is going in by hand and picking out anything that looks like it might be a clog inside this section of the dishwasher. After cleaning out the inside of the dishwasher, I tried blowing into the discharge tube of the dishwasher again to see if I could get air to come inside the dishwasher, but I just wasn't having any luck, which means probably that there is a clog somewhere inside one of the mechanisms. So that's the hose right there that I need to disconnect, see if we got a blockage in. Now it's going to have some water and it's going to leak, so I should put something underneath there to catch what I can. So what I'm doing here is I'm disconnecting the discharge hose while the dishwasher is still in its cabinet. I'm hoping that I can just take off the discharge hose, poke around and see if there's an obvious blockage right here, but it's a long shot. I'm probably going to have to pull the whole cabinet out and take a look. At this point, I've disconnected the electrical from the dishwasher and pulled it out from its cabinet. Now, in my case, the water line is long enough that I didn't have to disconnect that, but you may need to disconnect the water line as well to pull it out this far. Uh, be sure to put a towel underneath your legs of the dishwasher if you're going to tip it over, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm tipping it over on its side so I can see uh, the part in question that might have something clogged in it.
And here is the, the part right here. I've disconnected the discharge tube from it. And now I'm going to poke around, remove this and see if I can find any blockage in it. So I've already mentioned that I've taken off the discharge tube. Now I'm going to disconnect the electrical wires that connect to it. The next thing holding up this part is an L-shaped hook hanging from the top of the dishwasher scene here. And all we have to do is slide this off and that'll be the next step that we need to do to take it off. And then at this point, the only thing that's holding it in is the main rubber input hose. So we just have to slide that off and then the whole part comes off. It's at this point that we wanna start inspecting the input and discharge sections and just see if there's anything that could be blocking anything. Now we'll also wanna check inside the dishwasher on every place the pump connects to see if there are any possible blockages there. Now I didn't really find anything myself when I was going in here that I thought would have made a big clog, except I did notice later on in my towel, the towel that was right underneath me when I pulled the part out had a screw in it that may have filled out when I pulled the part out. So it's possible that that was the issue. Now earlier when I was cleaning out the tub, I did find a quite a bit of debris and material that I pulled out of the bottom. Now nothing instantly caused the dishwasher to drain immediately, but it might not have drained immediately just by pulling the item out. So maybe something here, and then you can see some of the items I pulled out helped do the trick. And it's at this point that I'm ready to put the pump back on the dishwasher and hook it back up. And I'll start by taking the pump and hanging it back by that L-shaped hook that it was dangling from. Next, I'll reconnect the discharge tube. Then reconnect it to its input tube so that material can go into it. And then finally reconnect the wires. I'm now ready to tip the dishwasher upright reconnect the electrical, turn the circuit breaker back on and give it a test run. First thing, let's tip it back upright. Now that we've tipped the dishwasher back upright, we can go back down to the bottom and reconnect the power electric to it. Now that the power is back on, before I push the dishwasher back into place, I want to test it and I want to actually see what's going on inside. So I'm going to place a little miniature camera on the inside of the dishwasher and place a little light inside here. Then I'm gonna run the dishwasher so I can review the footage and make sure it's still draining and if not, maybe get any insights to what's happening. Now this is a four times sped up clip just so you can see what's going on in the cycle without you having to wait and see everything. But I'll post a slightly longer version of this video later on in my channel. This right here is the key part of the video that I wanted. We can hear the pump running and we can see that the water is now draining out. And I confirmed that the dishwasher was draining into the garbage disposal correctly. And as we can see, water is no longer being stuck, pooled up. It is draining out and dry at the bottom. And at this point, everything is sounding and working like it should, so I can push the dishwasher back in its cabinet and run it for real. And after running a full cycle, I can confirm that water no longer pools at the bottom and we have clean dishes. In my case, I never found that official smoking gun that I'm positive was causing the issue for me in the first place. It could have been some of the debris that I found at the bottom of the tub. It could have been that screw that I found on the towel that was close to the pump when I took it out. Or it could be this silicon piece that I found inside the garbage disposal, perhaps leaning the dishwasher over and picking it back upright, jostled it loose and it shot it out through the discharge tube into the garbage disposal because I found this in the garbage disposal after I did the work to the dishwasher. Thank you for watching this video. If this helped you at all, consider giving it a like. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.